Hey there guys, welcome back to the Modern JavaScript Crash Course. In this video, we're moving on from operators. We are now going to dive into some of JavaScript's built-in objects. And in this video, we'll start things off with a built-in number object and taking a look at some of its methods. As always guys, if you're new here and like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications so you never miss an update. So before we dive into some of the methods of the number object, let's first rejog our memory and look at what JavaScript objects are. So if you remember back to the lesson on data types, objects are non-primitive, meaning that they can hold many values, unlike their primitive counterparts, which can only hold one value. And again, so being non-primitive mean that objects can hold many properties and methods. Now, objects are often described as things we can see in our everyday lives, like this car, for example. So we have our car here, which has properties and methods. Properties are essentially describing things about the car, so the car's name, its weight, its color, and then the methods are just a set of instructions that perform a task. So the properties tell us about the car, and the methods are things that the car does, like starting, driving, braking, and stopping. So these are some of the built-in objects that JavaScript has to offer, and we will be taking a look at these in future subsequent videos. So this is when it can get a bit confusing for some people, because you may be thinking that the number and strings are primitive data types and not objects, but with JavaScript, methods and properties are also available to primitive values because JavaScript will treat these primitive values as objects when we're executing methods and properties. So in effect, number and string primitive data types have their own methods we can use. So we're first gonna be taking a look at the number methods in this video that are available for us to use. All right guys, so we're inside our crash course folder and the first thing I'm gonna do is create a variable with the const keyword. So I'm just gonna grab the const keyword here, call this variable sum one and set it to a value of let's say 4.45678 and then just close that off. So we now have our variable there. And the first method we're gonna be taking a look at is the to fix method. So what I'm gonna do again is just create another variable and set this to sum two. And sum two will have the value of sum one along with the to fix method. So to access the to fix method, we use the dot notation. And as you can see, it's given us loads of different methods for the number object, but the one we're focusing on is the to fix method. So we'll grab that method there. And then to close this method off, we use parentheses. Now, what this method does is format a number using a fixed point notation. And what this essentially means is that whichever number we put inside the parentheses here is where we want our number to stop after the decimal point. And then depending on that fixed point, the number after will either round it up or down. So say we put a two inside of here, we're saying we want our fixed point to be two numbers after the decimal point. So if we log in sum two, you can see it's given us 4.46. Now the reason again it's given us 4.46 is because the number after the fixed point will either round it up or down. And because this is a six after the five, it's rounding it up. So that's why we're getting 4.46. Now the next method we're gonna be taking a look at is the two precision method, which works pretty similar to two fixed in that it works with a fixed point. We specify in our parentheses and it either rounds it up or down. So instead of two fixed, let's put in here to precision. And as you can see, it's actually given us a different sum here. It's given us a 4.5. Now the difference between two fixed and two precision is where the count starts. In the two fixed method, the count starts after the decimal point. However, with the two precision, the count starts before the decimal point. So we're counting one, two, and then after that is the five, which rounds it up to a five, which is why we're getting 4.5. Whereas with the two fixed, as we saw, the count starts after the decimal point. So it's counting one and then two. So those are a couple methods in our number object, guys. There are more methods to the number object and I've left a link to where you can find these methods in the description below. If you guys wanna check those out and play around with them some more. But to summarize, the two fixed method uses a fixed point notation that we specify in our parentheses and either rounds it up or down. And this will happen after the decimal point. Whereas with two precision, which works in the same way. However, this fixed point notation begins before the decimal point. But that'll be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.